Welcome back to another episode of Om Cuisine, authentic, universal, meditative. Today we're going to embrace the flavors of my motherland, India, and we're going to make a very unique kind of cabbage rice. So cabbage is very, very uh, wintry. So it's a good idea to have something warm in your hand and something which is filling and at the same time nutritious. So I'm going to put in a little bit of grapeseed oil because there are a lot of very pungent flavors in this recipe. You don't want to use any other oil. I'm going to put in some cumin seeds. I love them to splatter really fast. And immediately add the red onions. And add some red chili flakes. We're going to put some green cabbage, cut coleslaw style. And add in some turmeric powder. And some salt to taste. Cabbage is a very, very cleansing vegetable. It's very good for your digestion. And takes on flavor really well. It's almost like a blank canvas and you can paint your spices on it. At this point, I'm going to add our brown rice. It's been cooked ahead of time. And immediately we'll add our, some shredded ginger right on top of that. The trick to this recipe is to keep stirring it. You don't want any part of it burning and it cooks really fast. And as much as possible, try eating in bowls. It's a very interesting experience. It's almost like you're engaging both your palms. Very, very interesting. Make sure that the brown rice does not clump up. You want to make sure that the flavor goes through to almost every bit of the rice. Coming together really nicely. So we take in our lemon. Make sure you pull out the seeds. Take in some ginger and pack it into your lemon. And then squeeze it. Ginger is very warming to the body, very good for the winter season. Lemon, it's the complete season for citruses. So lemons really work really well for this recipe bringing out the flavor and also using the juice as a binding ingredient between the spices, the cabbage and the rice. I like to introduce two variations to this recipe. One variation is at this juncture you can add green peas. But we're not going to add green peas with this recipe right now. We're going to add some tomatoes. Just a handful of cut tomatoes. Remember, the raw tomatoes are very bad for you. You all remember that I did tell you that it turns very acidic to your body. And the focus of all of our winter recipes is to make sure that we increase and enhance the alkalinity in our bodies. So the tomatoes are cooked through so that the lycopene completely releases. So it is time to plate our rice right now. 
and we have a wide white bowl that we're going to be using. I'm going to take some lemon, take it all over the bowl. I'm going to put some dino kale. Sometimes it's a good idea to hide some kale, okay? Because the steam and the heat of the rice will make sure that the kale is cooked by the time you come to it and then you'll have to eat it. So. Put some sesame seed oil so that it doesn't turn bitter. That's an interesting little tip. You can serve this family style and the best way to do this on top is just to make sure you sprinkle some cilantro leaves and there you have it cabbage rice done with a taste of India absolutely delicious I'm gonna try it just a little bit right now to tell you the taste verdict not spicy but warm has a lot of turmeric, very good for the season, very healthy and very fulfilling. You must try it tonight. Happy eating.